Hey guys, so here's another very basic collision question. Let's check it out. So I have a wooden block of mass 10m. I don't know what m is, but I can still solve it. It's a literal question with letters, not numbers. Um, so I have a wooden box. It doesn't matter that it's wooden. Mass 10m at rest on a flat surface. So the initial velocity of this object here is zero. A bullet of mass 1m, so instead of 10m, it's 1m. So here's a bullet. It's got mass big M, um, is shot and reaches the block with speed V, okay? So I'm going to say that the mass of the first object is big M, and the initial velocity of the first object is big V. Mass of the second object is 10M, and the initial velocity of the second object is zero because it's at rest. And then it says, if the bullet stays inside of the block, the bullet stays lodged inside of the block, find the final speed that the system will have. So the idea is you got a block, the bullet goes inside of the block, and then it makes, it causes the block to move forward. Because the bullet stays lodged inside of the block, those are the keywords, this is a completely inelastic collision. They stick together. Now, more important than knowing the name is to know what it means. It means that V1 final equals V2 final, which I can just write as V final. And that's what we want to know. What is V final? Okay? So, we do this by using conservation of momentum equation. So, M1 V1, M2 V2, M1 V1, M2 V2. The mass, the first mass is big M. The second mass is 10 big M big M, 10, big M. All right, so what is the initial velocity? The initial velocity of M is big V, to the right, positive. Um, the initial velocity of the second object, the block, is zero, okay? Static block, so this whole thing is gone. The final velocity here, I don't have it. I don't have this guy, I don't have this guy, but they are the same. So I can write VF, and VF, which means I can then combine the two masses. VF is M plus 10M, which is 11M. Again, another way to think about this is that it, it acts as a single object of t mass combined, right? And this stuff on the left here is just MV. We're looking for V final. So V final is MV divided by 11M. Notice that the masses will cancel, and we get that V final is V over 11. Okay, that's the answer. Now let's talk about this, uh, let's think about this real quick. The bullet had a mass of M, and it moved with a velocity of V. After the collision, the bullet got basically added on to the block. Now the total mass is 11M. Therefore, the total velocity is m over 11. The mass grew by a factor of 11, and the velocity got shrunk by a factor of 11. So it's a, it's a reverse effect that you got 11 times heavier, therefore you got 11 times slower. Okay? Uh, and that should make sense. That's how it works. All right? Let me know if you guys have any questions.